The first thing you have to do is set the game difficulty. If you want to play an easy game, leave the difficulty lever where it is. If you want to make the game harder to win, drag the difficulty lever up higher, like this. The more difficult the game, the harder it is to find keys, and the more dangerous the house becomes. The hardest game is when the lever is all the way at the top. When the lever is where you want it, click on the start button like this. Now you try. This is the Haunted House help screen. For more information on how to play the game, click any of the things you see lit up in this room. To go back to the game, click on me. This is an item. Items are things you can drag from place to place in a room. You can drag items to people or things you see in the room like so. New items can also come from people, creatures, and things in the house. <laughs> you can also drag items to your bag if you want to take them with you, like this. Sometimes you'll find items just lying around that you can take. If you use up an item, you might find it again later. The telephone is a hint hotline. During the game, you can click on it to get hints. The hints will tell you how well you're doing, how to avoid problems, things to try, and winning strategies. Don't use it unless you have to. This is one of the monsters in the house. Monsters are nasty. Once a monster appears, it can attack you. Monsters attack with magic, like this. A monster's attack puts a curse on you. When you're cursed, your hand turns into a skull and crossbones, like this. A curse can make things look strange, sound strange, or act strange. See what I mean? To avoid a monster's attack, leave the room. Clicking or dragging things to monsters doesn't help. This bird is one of the things you'll find in the haunted house. You should click on things and see what happens. Clicking on things can make them move or talk, like this. Uh -oh. When I drag this item to the bird, watch what happens. something away, but you got something new back. Any place you can get something new is a place where you might get a key. There are lots of things in the house that work like the bird. Can you find them all? You can have fun just playing with the things in the house without even trying to find the keys. That's Dr. Synthesis. He's one of the people you can meet in the haunted house. He can show up just about anywhere. You can click on him, and you can drag items to him. Sometimes you could get him to give you things, maybe even a key. But if you make him mad, he can attack you and put curses on you. There are other people and creatures like Dr. Synthesis in the house. Like me, for instance. Get to know the creatures who live in the house. The ones that talk can sometimes be friendly, but they can all be dangerous if you make them angry.
The house gets scarier and more dangerous when it gets later. You'll know that's happening when you see it getting darker. Some things you do can help make the house scarier and darker. Some things you do in the haunted house can wake up ghosts and monsters and make the house more busy. The busier the house is, the more ghosts you'll see in these paintings. When the house is busier, you'll meet the people and monsters who live in the house more often. Some things you do will make the house angry at you. More bad things happen when the house is angry. You can tell if the house is getting angry because the fire in the fireplace burns hotter and the flames get bigger, like this. That's a door. Clicking on doors or doorways moves you to other rooms. If you click on that door, for instance, you'll go to the music room. Some rooms have other ways to move to other rooms, if you can find them. These keyholes are where you put the keys you find during the game. Whenever you find a key, put it into your bag. When you're in the foyer, take it out of your bag and drag it to the keyholes like this. If you find all 13 keys before time runs out, you win! You can get keys in many different ways. The house is always different. You won't find the keys in the same places every game. This is the clock. During the game, it shows you how much time you have left. You'll hear the clock strike every time another hour goes by. If the time reaches 13 o'clock before you find 13 keys, the game's over. These are the control buttons on the clock. You can click these anytime you're in the foyer. This one lets you go back to a game you saved before. This one lets you save your game. This one pauses the game. You can pause the game if you have to stop playing for a while. If you don't pause, the house will keep on playing even if you're not there. This one takes you to this help screen. And this bottom one quits the game. If you're not in the foyer and you want to save the game, quit or get help, you can call up a control panel from anywhere by pressing Command H. That is your bag. It'll follow you from room to room. You can put items inside it and then take them out in the room where you want to use them. To open the bag and see what's inside, click the middle part like this. See? The bag opens, and one of the things inside it appears. To see what else is in your bag, click the middle part of the bag, like this, and you'll see another item. Keep clicking until you start seeing the same things over again. That's when you know you've seen everything you've got. When you can see the item you want to use, you can drag it around like this. You can drag it to any place in the room you want to use it. To put something into your bag, drag it to the middle part of the bag and then let go, like this. If something won't go into your bag, then you can't take it with you because it belongs in the room you're in. If your bag won't stay open when you click on it, it's empty. To move your bag, drag it by the handle like this. Whee! <whistles>